This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create multiple invoices at once, otherwise known as batch invoicing. Now, before using the batch invoicing feature, there are a couple of things that you need to know. The first thing is you should only use batch invoicing if you are selling the same item to various customers because essentially what we're going to do is create one invoice for many different customers. The second thing is that you must make sure that your customers are set up properly because QuickBooks is going to use the parameters that you set when you created your customer. For example, if you have a customer in your customer list and the payment terms for that customer is net 30, then net 30 is going to be used when you use batch invoicing. If you need to review how to set up a customer, refer to Chapter 2. Now, to create batch invoices, click on the Customers menu and then select Create Batch Invoices. Now you're going to see the dialog box that says, Is your customer information set up correctly? This is what I was talking about just moments ago. And it asks you to make sure that the payment terms, sales tax, and the send method is properly set up prior to using batch invoices. Please make sure that those items are set up properly within your customer's profile before moving on. Otherwise, click OK. Now here is step one of the batch invoice process. And this is where you're going to select which customer you want to include in the batch invoicing process. Now if you have a large customer list, it will be more efficient if you were to type the customer name in the look for field and then click search to search for the customers that you want to include in this batch invoicing process. Now there's a couple of ways that you can add a customer to the batch invoicing process. If you are going to use this batch invoice multiple times in the future, then it's best that you create a billing group so that the next time you create this batch invoice, all you have to do is select the billing group so that you won't have to select each customer individually. And that's what I'm going to do right now so you'll see what I mean. So to create a billing group, first you're going to click the drop down arrow in the billing group field and select add new. Now the billing group that I'm creating is a group that my fictional company, Joe's Landscaping, sells red roses to on a regular basis. So I'm going to name this billing group Red Roses and then click Save. Now I'm going to add customers to this group. If you need to select multiple customers, simply hold down the control key on your keyboard and click each customer that you want to add to the group. Once you have selected your customers, click Add. Now I'm going to save these customers to the Red Roses group by clicking Save Group here towards the bottom right. Now these customers have been saved to the Red Roses group. Click Next to move on to Step 2. Now Step 2 is where you're going to enter in the items that you will be selling to each of the customers that you just selected. And you will do this the same way you create a regular invoice. In the Quantity field, enter in the quantity that you'll be selling to the customer. In the Item Code field, enter in the item. I'm going to enter the Red Roses items. Now the Price Each field was automatically populated because when I created the Red Roses item, I entered in the retail price of $50 each. The Amount field was automatically calculated and that calculation is Quantity times the Price Each field. Now in the Tax column, you'll see the Tax Code Tax which means that this item is taxable. However, if you have selected a customer that is tax exempt, no taxes will be charged to that particular customer. Now the tax code is one of those parameters that you must make sure is properly set up in your customer profile. You can add a customer message here at the bottom and then click Next. Now step three is where you're going to review the invoices that you wish to send to each customer. If you don't want an invoice to be created, you can remove the check mark next to the customer name by clicking in the Select column. 
Now if you take a look at the terms column, send method column, tax code, and tax rate, you will notice that the information will vary from customer to customer. That is because those are the parameters that I set when I created the customer. So make sure that you have the correct terms, method, tax code, and tax rate prior to using the batch invoice feature. After you have reviewed the information, click Create Invoices at the bottom. Now you're going to get a Batch Invoice Summary dialog box, and here you're going to see how many are marked to be printed, how many are marked to be emailed, and how many are unmarked. And this information is derived from the Send method that is located in your customer's profile. If everything is OK, click Close. Now we're going to verify that our invoices were created. To do that, click on the Create Invoices icon. And since those invoices were the most recent invoices that we created, I can simply click the previous arrow here. And here is one of the invoices that were just created. Five red roses at $50 each. Here's number two, and so on. So all four invoices were created. And that's how you use the batch invoicing feature. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.